friends welcome to our channel google galaxy today we are going to discuss the wave nature of electromagnetic radiation which is a part of structure of atom this theory is basically developed by the scientist name maxwell we call this one as wave theory also or we call it as wave we call it as wave theory what does maxwell invented what did the maxwell invent the maxwell invented the concept and said that whenever electron remember this point whenever electron accelerate what does accelerate means changing velocity what is the meaning of accelerate accelerate is nothing but a moving body just changing its velocity if i just say electron is accelerating it means electron is keep on changing the velocity not at a constant velocity whenever electron accelerate in the presence of in the presence of electric and magnetic field magnetic field when an electron accelerate in the presence of electric and magnetic field it emit electro magnetic magnetic waves this concept these three lines the concept of three lines is used to operate the mobile phones if two persons are far apart and talking to each other because they are talking to each other because of electromagnetic waves is existing is keep on moving from one cell phone to another cell phone so we can say there is a much participation of maxwell sir in the advancement of theory whenever electron accelerate changing its velocity in the presence of electric and magnetic field we have seen a large tower a large tower around our telephone company why they are having the telephone uh, large ta large tower because they use the concept of electric and magnetic field and accelerate the electron which result the formation of electromagnetic waves and hence mobile phone especially india jio phone operate <laughs> jio phone operate this is the whole basic concept this this one is true concept so this magnetic waves when travels in a continuous form and having the energy and having the energy we call this energy as radiant energy we call this energy as radiant energy and these waves associated with the electric and magnetic magnetic field we call these as electromagnetic waves these are having the certain characteristics when these waves are formed then we when the when my electromagnetic waves are formed in the presence of electromagnetic field they are having the tendency to travel in no medium that is they do not require medium to travel they do not travel travel in no medium that is it does not require any medium the second one these waves are having the velocity of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second for example a sun ray reaches to us after passing through a space having no material medium these electromagnetic waves radiations are expressed in certain characteristics and these are wavelength these are what these are wavelength these are wavelength these are amplitude the scientists generally draw the shape of electromagnetic waves in the terms of crest and trough in the terms of crest 
and trough these crest and troughs are formed in the presence of electric and magnetic field how actually my drawing is not is not much good i hope if i just if i'm having the roughly image of the diagram if i'm just able to draw this one is this one is two plane and uh, uh, this one is x this one is x this one is y this one is z or i or i can mark this one is y or z it's all up to us to represent this we will the, these are two are acting simultaneously these are magnetic field these are magnetic waves and from these are these are electric waves these are two are both are present simultaneously so electron will definitely propagate when electron propagate in these two field it will emit the electromagnetic waves it may be accelerating in, in any direction but in the presence of both of the fields so when we talk about the wavelength wavelength we can define the wavelength as as the distance between the any two crest two crest or maybe corresponding to trough two troughs these are we call these crest as consecutive consecutive crest or trough what are the units of wavelength we will represent as lambda we will represent as lambda and its unit is angstrom angstrom we are having the micron these are the smaller units of wavelength remember these values meter we, we can say one armstrong is equals to how much 10 to the power minus 10 meter similarly amplitude the height of crest or we can say the depth of trough we expressed in terms of meter the height of crest and trough we call this one as amplitude this one is amplitude when we are having the frequency that the number of waves passing through a particular point in one second we call this value as frequency this value is as frequency remember one thing per second we are having the term per second from a particular point we know that there are the units of frequency is hertz similarly we are having the different terms related with the electromagnetic waves velocity we must know these terms to understand or to do the numericals well when we talk about the velocity we know the formula velocity is displacement upon the time this is the distance tra displacement traveled by the wave in one second we call this value as velocity similarly the important term is another one we are having the important term wave number this one is the new term to you wave number is represented by the symbol v having the bar on on its head v represents the wave number as the number of wavelengths number of wavelengths which can accommodate which can accommodate uh one centimeter length remember one thing one centimeter length which can number of wavelength which can accommodate accommodate one centimeter length or you can just remember the simple simple formula that is it is inversely proportional to wavelength you can just remember the simple formula that the wave number is in always inversely proportional to the wavelength so what are the sn of wave number is it is per meter so what is the relation will uh, between the wave, uh, remember this relation i'm just going to write the formula you will have to just cram this formula to solve the numericals we are having the relation between the wavelength frequency and the wave number we know that that the velocity of light is is a product of wavelength in the frequency if i just move the wavelength in the denominator side what we will find placing this value of 
placing this value placing this value inside the wave number what we what we will find we know that that the lambda is in is the reverse of is the inverse of wave number so placing this value what we will find that the frequency is a product of velocity of light multiplied by the wave number this is whole about the wave nature of or we can say wave theory explained by the maxwell sir we call this theory as wave number of electromagnetic radiation thank you for the lecture if you like this video don't forget to share with the others